party to the blame of the national anthem and our implications. today will be by Major Judy Warren. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, as we humbly approach your throne of grace, we come thanking you, Father, for all that you are and all that you've done for our, our family and friends. Thank you for the service of Sergeant Reeves, a very long and distinguished career that we're very thankful for. Thankful for his family and friends that have came here today to support him. We ask that you please be with Sergeant Reeves and his family as he <clears throat> moves on to, to a life outside of the, the military. These things we ask in the blessed Son of Jesus Christ, most perfect, beautiful, and holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Major Warren. Please be seated. So this afternoon I have the pleasure of being the Master of Ceremonies uh, for this uh, retirement event. I want to thank uh, all of our guests. I want to thank uh, Chris Reed's uh, family being here today and, and showing him support and honor. Uh, thank you so much. I want to, uh, some of our military guests, uh, Major General Haslow, thank you so much for attending uh, our ceremonies and, and our support to our organization. Sergeant Major, uh, glad to see you here. Thank you, Sergeant Major. Glad to see you here and attending. Um, with these guests, I want everybody to know that uh, here in the Marshall Training Center, we're very family oriented. A lot of our uh, ceremonies or you may seem informal but it's we're a family here and so even though it does seem a bit informal we always want to try to honor you know our members and pay them the, the proper uh, respect that they have especially after a long and illustrious career so our first class Reeves joined the u.s air force u.s army air force u.s air force right after graduating high school at whitehall in pine bluff he completed basic training at Blackland Air Force Base, Texas, and then went on to Air Force Technical School at Shepherd Air Force Base in Texas as an aircraft fuel system apprentice. Next, to Little Rock Air Force Base for airframe specialty training for the C-130 aircraft. After graduation, he became assigned to the 1st Strategic Air Wing, 9th SOS at Elgin Air Force Base in Florida. Then, after a five-year break in service, Sergeant First Class Reef joined the National the North Carolina National Guard, and I was assigned to Charlie Company, 105th Engineer Battalion, St. Paul's, North Carolina. Within a month, he was deployed to NTC as a Hemet driver and an M249 gunner. After returning home from NTC, Reeves was then sent to Devil's Lake, North Dakota for MOS qualification training as a 12B Engineer Specialist. After the first Iraqi deployment, Sergeant First Class Reeves was chosen to attend the 74 Delta MOSQ course at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, and was assigned to the 171st Sapper Company, 130th Maneuver Enhancement Brigade, and was deployed back to Iraq as a route clearance unit while attached to the Michigan Army National Guard. While deployed there, he served as NBCNCO, 
supply assistant, and the maintenance liaison between battalion and civilian contractors who worked on and provided the route clearance equipment. Upon redeployment, it was assigned to headquarters, battalion, first to the 113th Field Artillery as battalion NBC NCO. Following the interstate transfer to the Arkansas Army National Guard, it was assigned to the 25th Rock as a 12B and then deployed to Honesville, Germany as the high con for units deploying to the coast of both deployments. Assigned to the 77th ASB and attended the 91 Bravo NOSQ qualification course, he was also assigned as the CBRN NCO and then deployed back to Iraq as the S3 Assistant NCO, NBC NCO, and the S3 Mobility NCOIC over the battalion NTV fleet manager. Then upon redeployment, Sir, Fleet, uh, Sir First Class Reeves was, had the opportunity for promotion and was assigned to the National Guard Marshall Training Center as the Maintenance Management NCO. Our presiding officer for today's ceremony is the Brigade Commander for the National Guard Marshall Training Center, Colonel Andy Lesser. Sir, would you please provide a remarks? Thank you all for being here today. Wow, 23 years. We all have heard your bio from the Air Force and the Army. That's quite the career you had. So many units that we couldn't even fit all the patches on the program. <laughs> you truly are the epitome of a National Guard soldier, though. From an engineer, a chemo, maintenance support, you're a jack of all trades. The skill sets and everything you brought to the table, thank you. It's not only for the Arkansas National Guard, for the, for the center here, but for the United States. Your, your service to the country speaks for itself. I mean, I, I can go down and highlight several aspects of your bio, but you've been there, you've done that, you've gone where they've asked you to go, and thank you for your service. Uh, I do want to thank you for your time with us as well because it's been a similar ride here. I, I've only known you for a little bit, but what I've known and what I've heard in our conversations is it doesn't matter what your MOS is, you're capable and willing to do whatever it asks. And more than not, that's been the case in this unit. I would speculate that's been the case across your entire career. <laughs> To the family, thank you for allowing him to serve because we all know it can't be done just by him. It takes the full support of the family. I appreciate y'all being here to witness this historic day in his life. And to start first class three, thank you. Thank you for a tremendous career. Thank you for your service. God bless. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, it is customary in the military that when attention to orders is announced, all military personnel will rise to the position of attention. Civilian guests may also rise, but also may remain seated if they so choose. Attention to orders. Accommodation Medal is presented to Sergeant First Class Christopher Reeves for meritorious service while serving as the National Guard Marksmanship Training Center Maintenance Managed NCO from 7 August 2018 to 1 June 2021. Sergeant First Class Reeves was an integral part of the success of the National Guard Marksmanship <laughs> Training Center's maintenance section. His wealth of knowledge and professionalism were beyond reproach. His commitment, loyalty, and mentorship were in keeping with the finest traditions of the Army and reflect great credit upon himself, the National Guard Marksmanship Training Center, the Arkansas National Guard, and the United States Army. From, one, from 7 August 2018 to 1 June 2001, signed Marcus Bussell, Colonel, Field Artillery, Arkansas Army National Guard. Oh. The Army Combination Medal 
is an interim award for the Meritorious Service Award, which is being processed at this time along with Sergeant Reed's all of his other retirement awards and accreditations. Please be seated. At this time, I'd like to present to you Sergeant First Class, retired, Christopher Reed. Well, first off, General Winslow, thank you for coming. Retired Sergeant Major Pierce, Command Sergeant Major Stark, Command Sergeant Major Rainer, thank y'all for attending. Mom, Mike, Jenny, and Heather, thank y'all for coming as well. And for the rest of y'all, we've been down this road several times for a little bit. Some of you know me better than others. We've had fun on the ranges. We've done a little bit of this and a little bit of that and everything in between part of the time. I only have one thing really that I want to really push out. Most of us are in the higher echelon of soldier and careers. Don't forget to take care of that little guy because one day that little guy's got to be in your spot. May make his way up to your spot. There's a lot going on in the world. We may not know what's falling on each individual's personal lives, but we do need to take care of them as well as each other. For the instructors, first sergeant, y'all have taught me a wealth of knowledge from different things that I didn't know about shooting. Everybody knows I'm not a real great shot, but I can hit what I aim at. But uh, with that, all the friendship and camaraderie that's been provided here, this marksmanship training, and hopefully there's many, many more years of this. And I may not be here in uniform. I did take an oath of office. Uh, oath of office, wow, I'm already on the political. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, to defend this country against all enemies, foreign and domestic, just because I'm not in the uniform doesn't mean I won't be still fighting for those rights that we all have fought and bled for throughout our careers. I had some quotes figured out, but you know what? There's, there's several things, and one of my favorite all-time quotes was from the movie Heartbreak Ridge. It's a Marine quote, but it, it adapts. Everybody in this room adapts and overcomes whatever's put in front of them. And with that, I appreciate everybody showing up. There's a cake back there. There's a bunch of cupcakes, so y'all gotta fill your guts. <laughs> uh, like I say, I thank all the special guests that showed up. And everybody, I appreciate y'all making this special for me, as well as my family. She, my mother, I have a long military history. Without my family, my mother used to build blow rockets back in the day. My stepdad, Ronnie, was a crew chief on TAC helicopters in Vietnam. My real dad was a cannon cocker in Vietnam. So I've got that long lineage and I get to retire and I retired one rank higher than my brother. <laughs> <laughs> it took him longer to make his than me. So. <laughs> but with that, uh, I hope each and every one of y'all thrive throughout your rest of your careers. And one day it'll be you up here saying goodbye. Let's have some cake. <laughs> Again, rise for the singing of the army song and remain standing for our benediction and the departure of our official party. Did you put the words on the so you know what to sing? If it's the correct army song. Is it the correct one? Army 
is on its way. Count off the cadence loud and strong. For wherever we go, you will always know that the army goes rolling along. And the army goes rolling along. Proud of all we have done, fighting till the battle's won. And the army goes rolling along. And it's high, high, hey! Army's on its way, count off the gate is loud and strong. For wherever we go, you will always know that the army goes rolling along. Let's pray again. Heavenly Father, as we humbly approach your throne of grace, we come again thankful for the service of Sergeant Reeves and the support of his family. Ask that you please continue to lead and guide them for his life outside the military. Please bless all those that came here today. Please grant them a safe journey home. These things we ask in your blessed Son, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This concludes our retirement. I'd like to invite everyone to again stay and enjoy the refreshments and the hospitality for Chris Marie's provided to us. Thank you. Woo!